or art woks. When you're choosing a wok, there's four things you've got to think about. The material it's made from, the size of it, the type of handles it's got, and also the shape of the base. These are all made from carbon steel. You, you can get woks made of aluminium, cast iron, carbon steel, even stainless steel, and then non-stick woks as well. These are all carbon steel, and I absolutely think that's the best material for making a wok. You can season it, it's durable, and it's dirt cheap too. These are only about 20 bucks each. The size of your wok is really important because you don't want to have a wok that's too big for your stove. A domestic stove is pretty small, and so these are 30, 35, and 40, and I reckon this 30 to 35 range is pretty good for a domestic wok. Next, the type of handles. These have got stick handles like a regular fry pan. These have got loop handles. I prefer the stick handles. You can toss them like a fry pan. You can really use it just like you would any other pot. Now, the loop handles are a bit more difficult to use because you've got to get a wet cloth around there and you can look a bit professional, but <laughs> this is definitely my choice. Now for the base, these are all round base woks and they're really good for heat distribution throughout the wok. You can move stuff around it easily. If you've got an electric stove, obviously you can't put a round base onto an electric stove and I'd recommend just using a regular fry pan because a lot of flat base woks are pretty much like a regular fry pan anyway. So size, I reckon about 30 to 35 centimetres is your ideal. Shape, round bottom, that's what I'd go for. Handles with the stick and material, carbon steel, definitely the way to go. Medium heat and let it burn for about 10 minutes and then repeat the process five or six times.